What's going on y'all? Ray here with Second Chance Rising where it's not just about the music, but it's about the ministry as well as how-to videos. And thanks so much for tuning back in and coming back to look at part two of our studio desk build this week. You know, so far it's going pretty good. Uh, we got all the painting done, all the pieces cut out last week, and this week we're going to start assembly, putting the Formica top back on it, and uh, it's turning out pretty good with a couple surprises here towards the middle of the way uh, through the weekend, but uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, if you got any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. So yeah, we're into our second weekend now. Got the legs painted. I got the... Uh, the accent red oak stained and, and on here you can see the back braces um, here that were installed a little bit better I'm kind of spacing this out to start getting an idea of um, how large I want to make the center and then getting ready to um, put the top speaker sections on and, and the writing surface on so here I didn't show it on camera but um, I cut the top pieces out that the speakers are going to sit on same width as the uh, the rack gear, and I've uh, cut the uh, pieces from Mike out and just getting ready to glue those pieces on. Got those done and just starting to uh, trim those up with my Milwaukee router. Pretty easy, um, you know, with the right tools, you, know, you got to have a few tools to, to complete this project. So if you don't already have, maybe you can borrow them or even with, I had to purchase the router because mine had gone bad, a previous one that I had. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. I mean, I still saved money building this desk, uh, even buying a couple tools and router bits and things. So here's, um, here's a shot after I trimmed the uh, Formica. I mean, it's really pretty easy to do, nice and clean. It looks pretty professional. Um, surprise myself sometimes. Um, Here you can see I've uh, I've installed a, a spacer to get my space across. I've ins I've installed uh, one of the sh uh, drawers that uh, I got from Sweetwater, and you can see the back uh, section on, which is the same width as the rack gear. Everything's the same width, so that makes it pretty simple. Just running that through a small table saw. Uh, you can see where that brace that I you know installed earlier on on the back, how that just screws onto that, and you can see the braces up underneath the speaker stand. The front writing surface was basically just like that top. Just cut it square, installed that, screwed it down. Um, and you can see that back brace a little bit better there now. So uh, one side's coming along pretty good. It's uh, pretty much together. You can also see that front section where that red oak hardwood, just kind of an accent. Now that's all squared off and pointed right now, but I'm going to trim that later and then run a router down that side to kind of round that edge off. All right, so I'm starting the second side. The second side always goes easier because I started to kind of figure some things out and get in my rhythm, so to speak. Um, so just had another uh, a drawer in there. Spaced that out with a little rack spacer uh, to help hold it all together and firm it up until I get all the top pieces on. And here I'm just kind of got them sitting here. I'm trying to figure out how big I want to make that center section. So I'm kind of going inside, I'm measuring my mixer, measuring how wide, how long it is. Um, also, one thing to note too, I can't, it, came, it just got lucky, but the top of the uh, drawers really act as a nice shelf in there to lay some stuff on some, uh, some of the wiring battery packs and so to speak lay on there. So I'm pretty proud of myself right now coming along. So here I start to figure out <laughs> how large or how wide I want to make that center section with a mixer. And you can see I've got two or three or four different angles on there. I'm trying to remember which line to cut. I measure and I kind of I spend a lot of time on this going back and forth, uh, trying to figure exactly my angles out and the right configuration I want for those two side pieces and trying to get it centered. And so um, did figure out some easier ways to do that later. And here I'm just kind of dry fitting everything. Everything's looking pretty good. Got the little center section. Um, I made a little bit. Uh, the center section only made about eight inches wide and, until the uh, until the little pieces of hardwood accent and then the 
pieces to the left and right are 12 inches. And, I, and I'll uh, firm those sizes up in the, in the plans and the drawings that I'll leave in the description. The middle section here, I left that a little bit longer on purpose, and you'll see why I kind of ran some uh, wire routing slots in there. It turned out pretty nice. You can see how that's braced on the bottom, that shelf. And here I'm just cutting some holes uh, for that wire routing that I was telling you about. I took a jigsaw and those, I actually drilled four holes in that. And then I took the jigsaw and kind of connected them together. And you'll kind of see how that slot uh, makes a nice slot to run the wires through. You'll see that here a little bit later on in the video. And here I just got a little sanding disc. I'm just kind of running around that with the drill, just kind of knocking all the rough edges off, all the splintering. Just trying to put a little final touches on it. Yeah, and here you can kind of see the slots that I cut out, you know, with the hole saw, and then I kind of combined them together. So it's just a little bit nicer than a square and uh, don't have any of those corners and rough edges. So we're pretty much at this point, we we're ready for the Formica. I'm just trimming some uh, large pieces of mica again with the uh, with a razor knife. I'm just scoring it and then breaking that off. Now I've worked with a little bit of mica in the past, but not a whole lot. But it's really not as hard a job and as intimidating as some people may think. Uh, here I'm just getting ready to just to glue those pieces, the writing surfaces, and just um, applying some contact cement. On. So here, this is just some Wellwood contact cement. Just getting a nice coating on uh, each of the pieces, uh, on the piece that you, you coat the formica and you also coat the, uh, of the wood and then just kind of let it sit up for about 15, 20 minutes, let it get a little bit more tacky and then just push that piece on there and, uh, just rub it down really good and make it, make sure it gets good contact around the edges so you don't have something trying to creep up and, you know, Really not such a hard job. This is probably maybe the biggest thing is just trying to get that biggest piece, make sure it's centered on there and got enough glue all around the edges and trying not to get no more on me uh, than I need to. And here just taking my time, just wiping it down really good, just making sure it's got good contact and a lot of pressure. I just kind of used an old rag, some old towels. It's just easier to, to uh, wipe it down with. Uh, they kind of suggest like a roller, but I didn't have one. I kind of felt like I put enough pressure on it seems to have done a fine job. So I just trimmed all those pieces down around the edges and also just uh, here I just put a drilled a hole uh, where I made that uh, insert for the wires and just going to route out that little center section here. And um, like I said, pretty easy to do. Leaves a nice smooth edge. You don't have to worry about any wires getting hung up on it or or uh, getting tore or anything like that. So it's two nice slots in there to run the wires in. So yeah, it's time to just kind of dry fit that in. I've kind of put the braces on the inside already. And then I kind of, there's just a little bit of a gap right there on that center section. I don't know if you've seen, I mean, it really wasn't anything at all, like maybe an eighth of an inch. So, so right here, I got to interrupt. Right now, at this stage of the process, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, I'm thinking I got this woodworking thing down. I haven't miscut anything. Everything is going together pretty smooth. And here at this angle, it's only about a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch off, just a little bit of gap there, and I think I can get that done a little bit better. So I, um, uh, I just did a little bit of trimming and a little bit of more trimming. And yeah, a little bit of more trimming. And guess what? Next thing I know, this gap is like five times worse than it was, and it's unacceptable. And uh, just kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, how life seems to humble you. And it reminds me of a verse from James 4.10 where it says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. And the Lord's just reminding me to be humble and be patient in this. And that, uh, you know, sometimes I don't have it all together. But um, I did have an extra piece of plywood. I had enough plywood, but I had to... Uh, order another piece of formica so it's on the way and i'll finish that back up next weekend but um take your time um, i'm going to include a, a set of plans um that's pretty going to be should be pretty close so i think you'll maybe have a lot easier job uh doing it and i figured out a lot better way to do it the second time as well so yeah here you can see how that gap got um tremendously worse but uh learning process and was able to move on
Here you can see where uh, I got some holes cut for run more wires. And you can see the bracing that that center middle section is going to uh, that's going to sit on. So all in all, as we kind of wrapping up weekend two here, I think it went pretty good. I know I, I made a mistake uh, on that one cut and trimming too much, but I really didn't expect to get through this whole project uh, without a set of plans, kind of going and winging it as I went along. Um, so you know that's okay. I can accept that. I'm not going to beat myself up too hard on that. Um, but uh, please, uh, if you like what you like this build that's going on, please make sure that you like the video. We certainly appreciate the support. Uh, subscribe. We should have our um, next week should be our part three and our final um, assembly and putting the desk up. We'll get it into the studio. We'll get her all wired up. Um, I think we're going to have a lot better wire management on this than the prior desk. And um, we'll show you all some more details that I kind of forgot to film uh in the in the first two videos too that i'm realizing so hey i hope you have a great week god bless you keep looking up